Welcome back to Artemel Kokoga. Guess what time it is? Not item crafting time? Sorry, it's item crafting time. <sighs> we have Saki back, so we need to go through all those recipes that we went through with Finnel. If I can... It looks like something from Bambi or the Lion King. The Fox and the Hound. Oh, yeah. It's, we... it's supposed to be Vulpix drawn in Disney style. Oh, I didn't see that. No wonder. They're so cute. Sorry, I'm multitasking like always. Okay, we can see what, um, what, uh, which uh, girls we've synthesized with so far from here, so... Anything that has Spindle's name on it but not Saki's will do. We'll Unless see. we kept Alto's name. No, we can uh, switch through them. Oh, okay. But uh, we'll save the new recipes for another time. If it's something we're all going to share, it should be in a big container, right? That's right. It's something we can all share from. Well, if that's the case, is this big enough? Goodness, an entire bucket? Don't you think that might be a bit unwieldy? Hey, bigger is better. If, it, if a little feels a little better, a lot will feel a lot better, right? That makes a certain kind of sense, I suppose. Ikari, you're a doctor. More medicine is not better. It's overdose. Drinking a big mug full of energy drink feels more refreshing than a little bottle. Try a three-day energy drink. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see? You'll have energy, but you'll also have a heart attack. Yeah, see? Okay, let's make a bucket's worth of energy drink. All right, it worked. We made it really big. Alto? When you said you were going to make a bucket full of it. Yep, a whole bucket, right here. Yeah, yes, but I didn't think you would really use a plastic bucket to hold it in. That is clearly metal. Should it have been a metal bucket? Or one with a spout? No, no, it's not the kind of bucket. It's that you don't put something you'll drink in a bucket. Bucket pudding is made in a bucket, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I guess so, but... Fuck is bucket pudding? <laughs> what the literal fuck is bucket pudding? It's manly cooking at its finest. Pudding made in a large bucket. It's really huge. That, that can't be real. It's Japanese. Actual fuck. No! <laughs> oh, I would love to try some of that. Anyway, what do you plan on doing with that thing in front of you? First, I think I'll give it a name. How about All Be Good? Because it makes everyone happy. I think it should be called Wow Wow Power Fill. No. This one. Hell's Segregator. Uh, and we're out of R2 solvent. Hello, Coconut. Sorry, but I can't think of anything else. Neither can Saki. Me neither. A fire element attack to multiple enemies. Well, that would naturally be... Why don't we make something different? I think you'll still end up making the same thing all over again. Yeah, well, let's give it a shot anyway. Of course Fire has to have this. Whoa! This is so pretty, Alto! It's just what we hoped for! You just threw all of our ideas together. I know. I can't do complicated stuff. It'll still be powerful, though. For sure. I think it'd be better than wasting time on making decorations. 
So, can you blow fire like a dragon with this? Naturally. It'll turn everyone in front of us into barbecue with a... Okay, let me try that line again. Naturally, it'll turn everyone in front of us into barbecue with a fierce blaze. So what are you going to call it? Flame gun? Boring. I was thinking of Mega Heat Scorcher for its name. I want to at least give it a unique name. If you want a unique name, what about Moe Moe Burner? <laughs> he said unique, not otaku. I don't think that's a good idea. It's not. What was Fennel's name for it, though? Hell Segregate, right. Um, I stopped Dan, we went without his name. Alto, are you alright? Your fingers are shaking. Yeah, I'm as cold as I look. Go ahead, feel them. Feel them? Ah! Alto's fingers are like ice! <laughs> it's kinda hard to concentrate like this, but I can still handle it. Saki will warm up your fingers. Uh, how? <gasps> because they're so cold, I'll have to do it a lot. Um, Saki? I appreciate it, but you really don't have to. But if it's so cold that you're shaking, someone needs to do this for you. But once I get back to work, my fingers will get cold again. Then I'll just have to do this again for you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what are you looking at? You're only supposed to do this kind of stuff when you guys are alone in your room at night. It's done! <sighs> sure took a while, but it's done now. Well, that looks really cold. Am I the only one who thinks this thing looks like it's about to blow? What are you talking about? For starters, it's completely bonkers to put ice in a totally sealed can. Even freezing a can soda or juice, for example, can cause it to explode. It's pretty dangerous. I've never done that before. Saki, have you? I've never done that either. I set a marker on fire and watched it explode. That was, that was seventh grade science class. I don't know why we were setting markers on fire and watching them explode, but we were. My, uh, one of my science teachers, chemistry teachers, used to like to put water and dry ice in a two liter pop bottle, soda bottle, close it, and throw it out the window. You'd know he was doing it because you'd hear a loud boom from everywhere in the school. I'll try it, uh, I'll try it out sometime. I wasn't telling you to do that. Anyway, even a tiny soda can is pretty powerful, so this could be pretty destructive. So, when it explodes, pieces of ice will fly all over? Everyone around the can will get hit with ice shrapnel! No one can survive that kind of blast! You're sick in the head, man. <laughs> so then what should we call it? Well, how about Ice Pop Can? Saki likes Blizzard Wizard. Blizzard Wizard! <laughs> Star. The electric attack. I still like that name. Yeah, me too. Saki. Quit it. I don't think battles should be all about defeating monsters. Bam, bam. What are you saying now? What's gotten into your head? I mean, I don't like... Bam, bam. <laughs> Saki! <laughs> We're trying to have a serious bam, discussion bam. here. <laughs> Saki! <laughs> I mean, I don't like just beating monsters to, <laughs> to a pulp or slicing them up. I'd rather settle battles as peacefully as I can. <laughs> I'd rather settle battles as peacefully as I can before it gets really violent. Bam, bam. Wouldn't you, Saki? Bam, bam. You're so noble, Alto. I agree wholeheartedly. Bam, bam. <laughs> it's infinitely better to settle conflicts without bloodshed. Yeah, isn't it? Okay, let's make something to attain this noble goal. I don't think there's... That's all there is to synthesis, dude. It's done! 
Ta-da! This is the paragon of non-lethal weaponry. Non-lethal weaponry? It's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Well, I guess. If we use this, we can stop violent people without hurting them, right? Yeah. For the most non-violent outcomes, stunning people with electric shocks is quickest. I'm sorry, I made you laugh so hard. <laughs> Hold up a second. Is this for stunning monsters? Uh, it's called a pacifier, but we can't just use it to beat up monsters, it will be hypocrites. Um, from the looks of it, I think it's definitely gonna do more than just stun them. What do you mean? Look at the sharp points of the star decoration on its head. Imagine swinging this against an enemy's exposed skin. The natural result will be... What are you getting at? The star points are gonna stab right through their skin. This isn't just for pe heavy petting. This will be full-on hardcoreness. No ifs, ands, or buts. Whoa, coconut. And the high-voltage electricity? You just know what's going to happen when you hit something with this. Oh, so I'm not sure I like this weapon anymore. No worries. I don't think anyone would die from just one hit. Probably. Are you sure? Humans are much stronger than we think. I don't think they die from something like this. Dude, bad karma is incoming. Anyway, I'll name this assuredly non-lethal weapon the spark stick. Saki, how do you like it? It still sounds frightening. I think the numbing stick sounds much softer. Well, we can change it back, I'm pretty sure. Ah, the storm cutter. The absurdly sharp fan blades that whirl absurdly sharp blades of air at you, I believe. Saki, how's it going over there? You doing okay? Yes, it's been going quite smoothly, but I'm a little nervous. Because it's so sharp, if you touch it, it'll easily cut your hand. I think you're right, but why was it necessary to make so many blades? Well, I don't like making items that can only be used for battle. And this will be... Well, you'll see soon enough. It's done! Behold the Twister Machine! Mm. Saki? <coughs> Saki? What's wrong? Uh, I feel cold just from looking at it. She's so frightened that she's getting chills down her back. I can empathize. So, what kind of... what kind of effect does this particular item have? Basically, it's an electric fan with sharp edges. Just thrust this at enemies. Well, it's turning? It's really scary, isn't it? Eventually, these edges will fly off at them. These don't even cut that well, but it looks scary. It's more for a psychological effect. Don't you think it's great? I don't know. Maybe it's too dangerous. Please don't let the edges fly off towards us. Well, okay. Saki, what would you call it? Don't turn fan was the first name that came to mind. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be that scared of it. Hmm. Alto, what's wrong? Hmm? Oh, I was just thinking. Were you coming up with a new way of upgrading our synthesized items? Well, nothing like that, just... Eh, maybe I shouldn't have mentioned it. I don't want to discourage you guys. Then please tell us after we finish it. That way we don't need to worry about being discouraged right now. I, I'm already feeling discouraged. <laughs> we like to call this the don't use. <laughs> it's done! If you pour this on top of your head, the liquid will protect your entire body. Seems like if I wear it, my hair will get all sticky. No worries. Naturally, I've already thought of and solved that problem. By the end of the battle, the liquid will be completely solid, and it'll harmlessly flake off. 
And they can use it without worrying about that. By the way, what were you so concerned about earlier? Uh, this enhances your defense for a minute or two, right? This kind of power-up will hardly ever actually be used. It's the black sheep of ability boosters. Really? I think it's pretty useful. When was the last time any of you used an X defense in Pokémon? Not me. <laughs> exactly. I never use those items. Hmm, I kind of understand what you're saying. Then why don't we give it a name that will make everyone want to use it? It would be a waste if no one used it just because it's an unpopular stat. I agree, so it needs an exciting name. What about Rock Hard Oil? Because we're being protected by hardened oil, why don't we call it Hug Me Oil? <laughs> it doesn't quite tell you what it does, but I kind of like that. Okay, that's all those. Can't make it that. Oh, here we go. what you're making, Alto. So you already know. That was pretty fast. You have to admit it's pretty obvious. Even I know what it is. If you look at the shape Saki. of- If you look at the shape of it, it's pretty clear. I just thought it looks kind of heavy. You know, heavier weapons are usually more powerful. Since you have to carry this around all day, you should probably make it a little lighter, you know? Man's fantasy is done. This is a man's fantasy? Of course! A drill always is! I always thought the whole drills or every man's fantasy thing was just a joke. Is it true? I thought that only applied to those people. Those people? Who were you talking about? Uh, well, uh, some guys I know. Don't sweat it. So anyways, what are we going to call this piercing weapon? You can't just call it Drill, that'd be lame. I want to name it Steel Grinder. As the name suggests, it's a sword that can grind steel. Is there enough of a sword left in there to still cut things? Of course! So, what kind of name do you think would be good for it, Saki? Well, how about Mega Drilloon? No. It sounds like a, a, a mega evolution for drill. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of any name other than just drill after looking at it. Drill Lancer. Drill Lancer. You're a good neighbor. We're not talking about my brother! <laughs> Doc, you can perform medical operations, right? Of course. Although I don't do them very often. You're such a competent doctor. You're so amazing! <laughs> Thank you, Saki. Then let me give you a great gift, Doc. <clears throat> Ta-da! Now you can perform any operation anywhere you want. This is inconceivable! It seems like it has everything necessary for all types of surgeries. <clears throat> it's incredible! They all fit inside one bag that you can carry! But I still can't perform surgeries outside unless I can create an absolutely bacteria-free space. I thought you might say that, so I added this switch that creates a sanitized chamber around you. Now you can do operations on people anytime you want to, right? Hmm. It's practically a portable hospital. Awesome! I call this invention High Voltage Gloves. Isn't that a bit of a mouthful? I think something more simple would be better, like Anywhere Quack. Saki? Hmm? Do you want to live longer? 
I'm confused. Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, you basically just called him a quack. But, but its face kind of looks like a duck. <laughs> Oh, this stuff. <clears throat> Alto, what have you been doing all this time? I certainly can't tell, but it seems like he's soaking a jacket in a bucket of water. <laughs> Alto, why don't you finish the armor before doing the laundry? Huh? I'm making the armor right now. Are you? Is that it? Yeah. I don't know what armor means to you, but it isn't all about fortifying with plates and chains. Well, actually, armor is all about fortifying with metal plates and chains. What counts is how it protects you from enemies, right? This is really great. It gets real hard. Iron doesn't even compare to this. What is this? The jacket is covered with a membrane of water. It's coated with a special type of fluid. Is it hotter than I am? Yeah, and it's lighter than water, so it's easy to wear it and fight. It's the ultimate metal-free mobile fortress. Sounds like something you'd use against Magneto. Amazing. I didn't know they made armor like this. It's magnificent. I agree. It's a fine invention. Yeah, although I didn't plan for it to turn out this way. We got lucky, but we can still call it a success. Why don't we give it a good name? I recommend using the word bio somewhere in its name. Oh, that's a good idea. Then what do you think of heavy bio? But this armor looks pretty. It doesn't look like armor. I'd like to call it cooling membrane. That doesn't... That doesn't... I see. Well, what should we do? I still like Mike's armor. Ah, yes. On we, Alice. Saki, do you like frilly clothes? Yes, I like frilly clothes because they're cute. Alright, then I'll make clothes with frills. This is a special exception for you, Saki. Really? I'm so excited! Alto, aren't you being extra nice to her? Really? I don't think so, am I? Oh well. Anyway, what is this going to turn out like? This is... Wow, Alto! This is so amazing! It's really cute! <laughs> Do you like it? Yes! I want to wear it right now! Looks like an emo or goth cut. No, it doesn't! Are you talking about those puppets on that Telemo show for kids? I think you're just disappointed. You've just disappointed a lot of people. You just... That is not emo or goth. That is Lolita. That is like pastel Lolita. You all disappointed people. <laughs> but that is just a fancy piece of clothing, right? Is that something you would really synthesize? Mm, regular clothes aren't good enough to protect you from enemy attacks, right? So I made it nearly as strong as armor. Now you won't have to worry in battle. Even if an enemy attacks me with a sword, I won't get injured? This reminds me of the floral dress. Floral dress? Never heard of it. What is that? Don't worry about it. You don't need to know. Nobody needs to know. <laughs> anyway, what's the name of this? I came up with Lethal Frills. <coughs> Saki, do you have a better idea? Well, I think Frilly Dress would be a good name. Very straightforward. I still adore the name Ennui Alice, though. Where are 
this ring. Gang's all here now. There are sizes for rings too, right? Well, duh. The size of everyone's fingers are different. See, my fingers are much smaller than yours. Wow, they're so thin. They're too thin. It's unhealthy. You should eat more. Well, Alto, this is average for a girl. What would you think if her fingers were as thick and buff as the weapon shop manager's? Saki's buff fingers. Are you imagining something offensive? Uh, I think your fingers should be exactly how they are. Nice save. <laughs> anyway, you have to make it quicker. The synthesis will never end. Alright, it's done. It's called Adamant Mirror Ring. That's a pretty ring. Did you use a gem for the decoration? Watch out, that's a reflection plate. If you look too closely, reflected light can blind you. Why did you put such a thing on a ring? Because I couldn't afford to buy a real gem, so I thought that would be just as shiny. How could you not afford to buy a real gem? We have so much fucking money. Uh, do you know how much real gems cost? Certainly less than the amount of money we currently have in this game. <laughs> Instead of using a fake gem, you used a reflection plate instead? What an innovative idea. No way would anyone else have thought of that. Alto, you're amazing! Well, we've got too much funds that are set aside as healing item funds, so we can't. And ingredient funds, and uh, staying at the inn funds, and dining I think it's unusual, but I don't know if it's all that great. It's already made. What's wrong with it? Saki, here, try it on. Yes! Ah! I think this ring is too big for me! Oh, you're right. I thought I made it the right size for you. Is that a mistake? It happens. Rings are small, delicate accessories. They aren't easy for non-professionals to make. But hey, look! My finger fits perfectly. You have to be thankful that it that it wasn't all a waste. Right. Maybe I should give up on trying to make it any better. As for its name, can we call it Adamant Mirror Ring? That name sounds too difficult. I don't understand it. Well, the name itself is like a decoration. If you can think of a simpler name, we can use that. What about Shiny Shiny? It's simple and straightforward. interesting to see this, uh, see Aoto and Kokona talking with each other like, uh, nothing has changed. I don't think Aoto has had time in the story yet to adjust the fact that Tatsumi is actually a girl named Kokona. But we can progress the story next time and see if anything does change. See you then. See you soon. Hey guys! Do you like our content? Do you want to support the show? Click the link in the description below to visit our donation page. All proceeds go towards new and better equipment and games you want to see us play. Everyone who donates will get a special shout out at the end of future videos, and we're currently working on setting up some special perks for you. If you don't want to donate, that's okay too. You can support us by subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you get notified whenever we put out a new video. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. If you've had enough sugary harem anime bullshit, click the box on the right for Pastaween 2018. If you can't get enough sugary harem anime bullshit, you're my kind of viewer. Click the box on the left for more Artinelica. Till next time.